Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Hello, Leo. It's your reading for mm. beginning to middle of August of this year. Happy birthday to all of you, by the way. I think we're in, yeah, we're in Leo season. So, yeah. Happy birthday. We're going to be doing your reading now. So, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This resonates with you. Good deal. If not, do not worry about it, for it is just a card game. Doesn't work too well if you don't believe in it, right? Right. Okay. So, let's see what we got for y'all. First off, we have Knight of Wands. Could be you, Sag, or Aries. Not really taking off, but you're not stopping yourself from talking some shit either. Like just standing there like, come on! You know. Take me! <laughs> We also have Z the Sages card, Temperance Reverse, and the Wants and Wishes. Being impatient, separation maybe, or some shit. Just not coming together with other people. Then we have Fears or Rejections, Two of Wands Reverse, Obstacle and or not the Obstacle and Challenge. This is um the situation. Cancer's card, the Chariot. Obstacle and Challenge coming against you is Justice, possibly doing the right thing. Which is weird, because that's Sagittarius' card, and I, and I always think of Temperance as moral compass. So it's like, it's the obstacle is the right thing to do, whereas your wanton wish is pretty much ignoring your moral compass, I think. Then we have the Page of Wands, and what'll come full circle. What started this shit, and what will bring it full circle around, little... How it'll end, really. Page of Wands, reverse you, Sag, or Aries. With the beginning theme, Ace of Wands. Brand new start, y'all. I want it all, yeah, and I want it now. You know, like. It's weird! You're going one way, but you're heading another. <laughs> it's like you're not coming forward to fight here, but you're running very quickly over here. Like you're afraid to deal with like the two of wands where you're not sure if you should cry or bury your onions. Hmm. Very odd. Like, there's a someone, like, keeping their shit in their shell. Not really expressing their emotion because, like, they don't want to express that they don't want to do the right thing. Or they want to be impulsive. They want to ignore their moral compass. Separation. However, they're at a standstill not really trying to fight because of the right thing to do. Or karma or justice right here being the obstacle. So, right now, they got a fear that they don't know how to stop the crying or whatever. Um... With the Knight of Wands right here, Leo, like you really don't want to try to go in for a battle, because you might be heartbreaking. You don't feel like there's anything worth the fight for? In the situation with the Cherry, you might be holding yourself in because you don't want to sacrifice a cup. Or a Cancer doesn't want to sacrifice a cup to you or some shit, but it's like... Sacrificing so you don't have to deal with that anymore. The wants and wishes, it's like you want to ignore your moral compass here or temperance, or you want to separate and go on a brand new adventure into the dark. You don't fucking see you, but you can go somewhere with it. Start with a clean slate, right? However, your obstacle and challenge, which is the Justice card, Libra's card you could be dealing with too. Um, karma, the right thing to do, right? The obstacle with that is like the person who's like been worried or whatever isn't worried anymore. It's like, you know what? If they want to be out there, that's fine. I'm not worried about it. The fears and rejections up here. Two of wands. Um, onions keep coming out of the holes and dunking you in the head. And then you just sit there and cry about it. You really don't know what to do. And now there's a separation between two people who are connected. Then we got the page of wands down here. This could be you. Also, I'm pretty sure it could be Aries too. Just because of the impulsive nature. Sneaky sneaks. 
Mr. Rumpelstiltskin sticks, dude. Alright? Not with the best intention, not with the right things in mind, right? Not the, um, most reliable or honest person right now, right? Very childish. And still refuses to see that, like, they did everything themselves, even with the, um, eclipses that came by, as with the picture. It's kind of like they did all the shit to themselves, which is why they feel that way. So, now they're just kind of sitting there like, well, I'm just gonna keep running away and not really deal with it. But, because you're not really dealing with it, like, it's just perpetuating this feeling. And the person who was left out in the cold, I guess, um... They've just kind of given up and just been like, you know what, fuck it, they can just do whatever. That's why the Three of Cups bitch, Blonde Betty here, is just giving up that cup. Like, I'm not worried about it. Is that my phone? Probably. Okay. Ending theme for you guys. Ah! Okay, so you might be being a little greedy, but you're getting a new beginning, so I guess that's not too bad. Happy birthday! <laughs> um... Someone was very controlling over everything. To the point where now there's a new start somewhere else. Or maybe you're leaving this town where someone's in control in order to get a new beginning. If you're here with the Seven of Pentacles, I want to say that's um the Shadow Side Reverse, right? So it's like you're kind of looking over these plants that just withered and die, and you're actually sad about it, too. It's just like, aww. So much investment, but nothing was left to save. I was like, enabling behaviors were just bad investments. Second card. Yeah, I think you're like taking ship to sail. You might be sad about how things are going, but you're going somewhere else in order to get away from those feelings. And then you're going to be happy again. Because uh, that's your card right there. It's strength. Like, you're going to be good. Whatever the scenario was that's passing you up, Leo, is like, it's pretty much over at this point. Someone could have been looking for you, or you could have been looking for them, but at this point, no one's really trying to hang on to the feelings that were there. So, I guess everyone does get a happy ending. But this, this Six of Pentacles verse is just kind of awkward to me. It's like they have to have full control. It's almost like this chick birthed this dude who is a selfish dick and wants control over everything. And that's kind of creepy. But only to a fault. But that was your reading, Leo. So thanks for watching the video. If you want a personal reading, all the info is in the description box below. As well as the playlist of all the music I make. You mean like, share, and subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure. You guys have a good day and I hope you all have a good birthday and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.